again and today I got a little bit of gameplay here for you on a map called Midgard and I am actually playing here with Rapscallion and Elite Assassin. Now this is kind of some old gameplay. I made this map a while ago. Um, it still could use some fine tuning yet but uh, I'm not there yet. Not there yet. Uh, hopefully um, well, hopefully we'll get some players on Master Chief Collection. It feels like a ghost town right now. Um, all my friends are playing something else and uh, playing Destiny and Call of Duty and, uh, well, you know, kind of whatever else comes out. Um, a lot of them are playing that new Dark Souls game, um, uh, PlayStation 1 exclusive. Uh, some of them are doing that. And Master Chief Collection has kind of gone to the wayside, and I wanted to talk about a couple of different things for that. But before I wanted to um, get into that, uh, I wanted to talk about the Save MCC first, and just briefly because that was a big thing a while ago, and I don't even know if it's still a major thing, but it's just kind of funny um, as of right now is right now I can hop on Master Chief Collection and get matches fairly easily. Um, sometimes it does give me some glitches, but I have to be honest with you, so do other games. Uh, playing uh, anything else uh, gives me glitches, uh, where it just kicks me out of a lobby or uh, any other type of strange things that just happen from time to time. Um, so it is not without fault, but Overall, though, I'm having practically a flawless experience, and I know I can't speak for everybody, but overall, I'm having a good experience with Master Chief Collection at this point in time, um, which is kind of what I wanted to talk about, the Save MCC first kind of uh, thing that went around a while ago. Uh, some Somebody put out a video and said, well, 343, you really need to focus on MCC and get this fixed. And honestly, 343 has done a, a fantastic job, in my opinion. I think Ma Master Chief Collection works really well at this point. Um, but the population is still isn't there. Or, and, and the only reason I can say that with some fair certainty is... Uh, because there's no numbers, no official numbers anywhere, but the reason I can say that is just looking at my friends list. Yeah, I mean, nobody's playing Halo at this time. Nobody. And that's not exactly a bad thing, in my opinion. Uh, to be 100% honest, I personally think uh, that it's good to the point where people are just taking a break. Um, we got Halo 5 coming this fall, and I personally think that Halo 5 is going to be amazing. Um, playing the beta, I was impressed. Uh, there's, I had very few problems. Granted, the matchmaking system wasn't perfect. Uh, I did have to do kind of like a restart of the rebuild all the time. But you got to also think that at the time of the beta, that was a year out. Practically a year out. And... That's unheard of, for one, and uh, that's probably going to have some issues, and they've had plenty of time to work on it, and uh, the Halo 5 matchmaking system, I think, is probably going to be just about flawless by the time it launches. So that's a good thing. People are taking a break, playing other games, enjoying whatever else they want to play, which is awesome. I mean, I'm doing the same thing. I play different things. Heck, I've even done a lot of extra things around the house because it's like uh, Master Chief Collection. I got no friends to play online at the time, uh, so I go and get some extra things done. Um, World of Warcraft is kind of blech right now. <laughs> I don't know if you've fallen World of Warcraft at all, but I play that a lot and just haven't had a whole lot of reason to play that um, as of recently. Uh, I mean, the last update they did it was just, they, it, was, it, was, it was garbage, it was, it was terrible. Um, but that was just that. Um, so yeah, uh, I've been taking a little bit of a break. I still play Master Chief Collection. 
uh, on a regular basis. I still jump into Forge quite a bit. Um, if for no other reason just to get on Forge and just do something, uh, see what I can make, uh, try making buildings, bases, you know, whatever I feel like trying to build. And a lot of those uh, maps just get deleted and uh, etc. But I've been rambling on here for a few seconds. Uh, now I wanted to talk to you about the Master Chief Collection update, which is actually coming here in a few days. Uh, maybe not even that, maybe today. Um, hopefully it will. I, I really want to get on this uh, update. Um, again, not a lot of people put this stuff out anymore. So I'm going to try and do this as when I feel something is relevant. And I think this is, this is relevant uh, for anybody that is still playing Master Chief Collection. You're going to want to know this stuff. All right. First up is Remnant and the new Relic. Uh, it's going to be coming soon, as is ODST. So... Uh, that's going to be coming soon. It's still on target for the end of the month or for for May, which we're getting close. So we're talking within a week. We're gonna have this stuff. We're gonna have it. Now I don't see any foreseeable delay, but it should be coming soon. Uh, team doubles uh, for you, team doubles players out there. Uh, team doubles is becoming a permanent playlist, just like SWAT became a permanent playlist last week, and with this in mind they're looking at certain other playlists right now that they're probably going to drop on occasion uh, they got rid of team objective and they're replacing it with team doubles I, I guess just for a short time um, team objective may roll back around but this is not a bad thing trust me this is not a bad thing uh, if you have friends that are playing online and you like to play objectives just hold on a second because I'm going to be talking about what other changes they've made. And if you're an objective player, you're going to like it. All right, I said Team Doubles is becoming a permanent playlist. But they've also changed the way your voting options are coming. And this is uh, coming from a lot of different sources as to what we wanted. Uh, from Reddit, Twitter, feedback on the forums, etc., etc. So they're listening to us. They really are. But let's talk about the specific changes to Team Doubles. Uh, Halo 2 Classic, the SMG Slayer is waiting significantly reduced. Cause I personally, I hate SMG Slayer. Well, I don't hate it. I just don't like it. <laughs> it's just not fun in my opinion. Uh, Halo 3. Uh, updated map variants to the latest matchmaking versions, like uh, such as Pit Stop. Um, VIP has been removed. All AR Start Slayers replaced with VR Starts. And Halo 3 uh, added Heretic Ball, which I'm not sure what Heretic Ball. I'm assuming it's just Oddball on the map Heretic, but I could be completely wrong there. Uh, King of the Hill and CTF with uh, low weighting. Uh, waiting, I mean, that's it's not going to come up very often. And the last change, uh, they added BR Starts uh, Slayer for Citadel and Assembly. So that's something to look forward to in uh, your Team Doubles playlist. Plus, uh, it will be receiving ranks uh, as soon as they roll out ranks to all the other playlists, which are, a lot of them are getting ranks here very, very soon. Halo CE 2, 3, 4, and Anniversary are all going to have ranks uh, in their playlists, which is good in my opinion. I like knowing what I'm in for before a match starts. All right, overall, this is what I wanted to talk to you about your objective players. They've changed the way voting works. Now, for a if you're an objective player, this is a great thing because um, when you're voting on the way it currently is, you know, the objective game is on the far right, which means any tie at anywhere is going to beat out your objective game type. They're moving the objective game type over to slot one. And as we all know, in the tie, in the event of a tie, slot one does get picked over slot two. And on top of that, they're moving all BR starts or options into slot two. And then you'll have your standard non-BR Slayer option in slot three, which I personally really like this uh, change. I think it's gonna be really good for everybody uh, that likes to jump on there and not mess around with all the nonsense. 
of trying to find a BR and or, or they want to play a game of King of the Hill once in a while, you know, rather than just uh, playing Slayer all the time, which I, I like playing Slayer, but you know what? I like throwing in the occasional objective as well. I like that. It, I like to keep uh, a lot of variety in my game time. All right, as I said, more ranks are going to be rolling out soon. Uh, Team Slayer will become a unranked playlist, so just be aware of that. And, of course, they have a couple more things here. Uh, SWAT will be updating the Halo 2 respawns to the more appropriate three seconds rather than the current settings, which was, I guess was like five seconds or so. It just seemed like way too long. Uh, Halo 2 Classic will be updating the BR start objective games uh, types to include the uh, BR, the letters BR in the naming convention to avoid the confusion. And they will be correcting Halo CE variants across matchmaking to no longer utilize motion tractor. So uh, that radar is going to go away. So that is like the major news uh, that is coming out with this update. Uh, I personally am excited. I, I like the changes that they've made uh, that are coming. Uh, the only thing I could probably tell them and what I would like to see is that they add some of the missing maps. Uh, there's a lot of maps that just aren't in the playlist at all, which is kind of sad because I liked um, Longshore. I like playing Oddball on that or uh, Assault and um, there's a bunch of other ones too because they're, they're not in the playlist. I mean, the game has 100 plus maps and um, it doesn't feel that way. At least in my opinion, it doesn't feel that way. So, which is kind of silly, but uh, hopefully that'll get fixed soon. But as you can see, this gameplay is just about ready to come to an end. And I believe Rap Scallion is going to wrap this up. I believe I come in second. Pretty, pretty nice little second. Uh, so I definitely appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this. Check out the video. Oh, Elite Assassin wins. That crazy elite. Thanks for watching it again. It's the Grace Spartan. I'm out of here.